when I grew up, had an attitude with me when I went to the Baptist church who paid me the unheard of sum of $100 a Sunday. <laughs> Right. Now, you, you know, man, you grow up and you play Tuesday night, Friday night, <laughs> Thursday, we service, Wednesday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Sunday Sunday night, night and don't let it be a revival, <laughs> and then the Lord call for it to be an extra week <laughs> of revival, <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe you get five or ten dollars, you know, drop down to you from the pulpit or something yeah, like that, take an offering. So I mean, you know, when you, you live, right? when you live, you your time. Yeah, don't forget, right? So when you live that kind of stuff, and then you grow up and you see that there's a world out there beyond what you've been ensconced in for so long, it takes a whole lot of God in you to resist it. Young or old, I don't care. Sure. And you, you can have. Hey, is someone knocking on that door? I don't think so, but I hear something. No, that's me. That's God. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to get in on this kind So, of you know, the validation thing and the money thing, he's right. It it, 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 it it validates them. They feel like I've arrived. And somebody sees the worth that I have, that they're going to give me $2,500 a week. And I'm making two fifty at this church. Because so, everybody's at a different level. Sure. Like their background. Somebody might be in the projects. If they have a, just like cats in sports, some cats go right from high school to the pros because they might have an issue with moms or, or daddy gone and they got got to make money. And what happens in the long run with most of them? I know there's a long run, but when you hungry right then, <coughs> right. Ain't no five year plan. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you're just worrying about, yeah. and I understand what you're saying because the future gets jacked up, but. You're trying to deal with immediate situations. Right. So when it comes to churches, we have to have something to offer people. That's true. And you can't just say, we're going to pray for you, we're going to this and that. Nah. And it might not be a money thing, but you have to take time. Like, I have cats that, that sit under me or whatever. My best thing for them is I try to be an example. Mm -hmm. I can't be telling them, trust God, do this, do that. And then they see me bugging out, doing whatever. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful. Mm -hmm. So you have to offer them something. You can't just say, well, don't play it, or don't do that R&B hit, or don't go there to that studio tonight, or don't. It's like, dog, you're telling me not to make money, but then I can't get $10, $20 from you. <laughs> right, but, but, but again, I think, and I think that that's a very valid point. But again, I think that what we really told you to look at is again, and this is a cancer, I'm being honest, it, it is a real critical cancer where I'm looking at young guys right now, honestly, that are not at this point. They're 16, 17 years old, and they are going through some uh, crisis at home, like you said. Um, but these guys, again, they are looking for that embrace of validation. They really, really are. So, I mean, they, it's, it's, there's no way around it, you know. If their girl ain't giving it to them, or the keys ain't giving it to them, they are right now wanting to be validated mm -hmm. for their manhood and their craft. And you want to hear from somebody new. And what well, they do. Because mama's always going to tell you, you were great, son. Right. You know, you want to hear from somebody they want, that, Right. They want to get you know, it you don't know. Right. And that, and that right there, I honestly see that as being a catch. I see mm -hmm. several dudes going out from, from actually doing several different ministries or several different tours. I'm saying to myself, how much money can you actually make, honestly? How much money do you really have to make to be validated? Because right now, at this point, I'm, man, I'm speaking for me, my music right now is therapeutic for me. How come nobody else? I need to write music just to get my head through every day. Now, most cats don't see it. Well, I need to relate. But you got to also look at it. It's because you've experienced it. Yeah. So much of it, and the problem is, there's not enough information out here for the young guys, so they just take, take most for granted. Right. Because with the exception of John, the time that you spend with your boys, that's that's the result. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The time yeah. that you spend with your guys. Yeah. And we all have guys that we sort of. Yeah. That we sort of impart to. Right. But those are the exception to the rule. So. If you look at it from the practical sense, a guy has a gift and he can play, whether it's keys, drums, bass, whatever. You tell him that he can't make money with his gift, mm -hmm. 
He don't understand that. Mm -hmm. Because when he looks at you, he feels like you're making money with your gift. Mm -hmm. And how much does it matter whether I'm making it at the club or at the church? Right. This is the core of the problem. Yeah. Yeah. If we want to address <clears throat> spirituality. Now right. we want to, uh, we just talking practicality. It's, it's two whole different things. And these guys fall right in the middle of that. Because they'll play at church. Because it's easy to do church one-on-one. You do that, exactly. and then you go to the underground right. Right. and exactly. audition. Exactly. You, you, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. And that cycle becomes so heavy because one dude got picked up. <laughs> Yo, Travel's down there, right. and Angie Stone can travel. Trav doing his thing now. Right. Right. So now everybody's flocking for that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And you cannot take that away from you. I don't care how much Jesus you talk about. Exactly. I don't care what you do, you can't exactly. take that away from you. Not that way. Exactly. And some some of these things that musicians go through, like playing with the Angie Stones, playing with the whomever out there, Christina, right. that's part of the journey that they're on. God has a plan. You know, I, I believe that. that. I believe that. that. You know, how, how how can you reach Angie Stone if you don't know her, if you're far away from her? You know, if that person, and even better, if we who is in this room, because you know, if any of us walk into a place, somebody's going to say, oh yeah, I saw you on TV. I saw you, you know, at the call. I saw you this and that. OTV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Not, yeah. not too far from here. That's that's what that's what people that's what people want to hear. You know, that's what the younger group is growing up. That's what they want to hear. They want to hear, yeah, I saw you. You did a good job with Angie Stone, and, and they can make a a, a, a a spiritual effect on that person for God if we are able to impart with them what it means to be a musician on the road, what it means to be a musician out in the world. Because God called us to be salt and light out in the world. He didn't ask us to be salt and light in the church because there's a whole lot of that in church. But I think we need to be out there and sharing what God has given us to the world so the world will change their thinking. You know, the Bible says yeah, be renewed by... Huh? They, 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 that's they, what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that too. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, we, we've got but what you're saying is for us to do that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because we seasoned and experienced. Exactly. Right. Those cats can you ain't they ain't gonna they dark. They go down <laughs> in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and they get dark. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't so know anything the, about the it. Problem, the problem right. is we have to find the angle of encouragement to deal with them where they are. So that they can grow into and stay on top of them. Usually, once they think they're validated, they don't really listen to us no more anyway. Mm -hmm. And then we don't really have a lot of time. Right. We don't spend, we don't right. spend right. time right. speaking into their lives. Yeah, you know, know, I know, I know, I didn't. You, I, I try now, mm -hmm. but years ago, I was grinding myself, trying to. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I too much time. That's what, that's, that's, and that's the well, that that. It could be awful. I'm 45. I just got my first four students ever in the last month that I just decided to open up and, and teach. Mm -hmm. You know, and so you try to impart, you know, little things. And I'm wondering, out of all of the younger cats, number one, how many finished high school? Mm -hmm. How many can quote two verses of a scripture? You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're sitting in church, but they're not being fed because when, after they finish playing, when the word is preached, they're gone. Yeah. They're stepping outside, yeah. you know, to do whatever, and they come back and over. So when you said that they're not equipped, they, they're not equipped with smarts, a lot of them. You know, but in my opinion, I've never met a, a dumb musician. Musicians are very, very smart, especially a musician, not to say anything about you know, anybody, but a musician who reads music. There's a whole, whole level of like math and stuff that they you know understand you know and can do for whatever reason. Musicians are highly intelligent people, you know, and they look for things you know to keep them interested. And if if if, if they weren't interested in school because they were interested in their craft, they developed that and not the educational part. And they're still interested in that same instrument when they go to church, so they do that and they leave, and they're not being fed, so they can't really. Teach Angie Stone a thing about being a Christian because they don't know themselves. 
Yeah. But I, and, but and, I, that, and that is 